So how, how was it? And again, I would like to acknowledge the fact that the, the participants in this breakout session are relatively the younger set, no? Uh, hindi mapuputi ang buhok, matulad ng nakatayong nagsasalita. Um, so uh, please feel free to speak out. Uh, sabi nga namin, wala namang uh, libre mangarap, no? whatever ideas you have. And that is where innovation starts, eh? that, that nugget of an idea. So, however crazy that idea is, sometimes you just need to bounce it off another individual and then those ideas get somehow refined. So the sharing of that idea, of, of those ideas are actually what we're, we're supposed to uh, generate innovation. What institutions, academic institutions, are represented in this room? Can we get a sense of where you are coming from? So, want to start? The, the people with the red shirts, what you are from? Same National College of Technology Okay, so, okay. so anybody else uh, uh, coming from a different institution? Yes, Paul? And you? Mm. And anybody else? Yung mga lasaw counterparts natin, they are representing... Tama? You are right. You are from here. Yes, but in TLS, you? Where else? Who are, who are not the salience here? What other institutions they come from? So what, what questions do you have? No? Listening to, uh, during the, the plenary sessions, but what questions have been uh, have, have 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 you been contemplating on and uh, with regards to biotechnology, biomedical engineering, and biotechnology, <coughs> biomedical technology? As young minds, that was Professor So as young minds, what 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 are you in? Um, very interested uh, in, in seeing, you know, like for example, within the next 10 years, in terms of biomedical technologies. Kasi di ba ang ganda ng presentation ni Professor Hintay, you, know, you see that uh, marrying of medicine and engineering technology, you know? so who, who would have known na pwede pala mag physical therapy or mag rehab ang gopa, the program to do so. So, wala na siya dun sa current model na uh, nakakamon na dapat may physical therapists. But, but that was not really meant to replace, no? but, but actually to cook of men. Oh, sana si Kilo. <laughs> Pinapatawa ko nga sir. But okay. I, I'm trying to get the discussion going for. The purpose of the usual traditional Philippine Information Forum breakout session is you heard from us this morning. If I may say, we kind of have more or less, not complete, but a umbaga, helicopter view of what's happening in health innovation and in other topics that were touched uh, in a way in general as well. And it would really be nice not to recommend, because we combine the proceedings of conference nito, to plan for the next one. Okay, so, siguro, similar to the one uh, upstairs, in a way, related to the biotech. Ano, anong feedback niyo dun sa narinig nyo kanina and the exhibits that you saw? And what you think is, siguro, ano yung kulang at ano yung maganda? Okay? And then, uh, we were hoping the, I think, sino mga Ibet? Sino yung Ibet na dito? Para may iwan niya ba sa taas? Uh, uh, pwede, pwede natin sila po. And who is here? Uh, again? St. Anthony. St. Anthony. Okay. So, uh, this group was supposed to be the biotech group. In particular, yung narinig nyo kay Dr. Bittay. Uh, his vision and his, uh, his um, uh, challenges. So, after hearing that, the second question is, ano tingin nyo should be the way forward? Yeah, I'm not sure if you actually saw the UP group, they have their own biotech tech group there called the Cibot, UP Cibot. So, ano sa tingin nyo, Una muna, in general, yung back to the first question. Anong feedback nyo, this is the first time we've done it face-to-face -face after the pandemic. 
and heard that Tony said it, this is the sixth time. And before it was really not necessarily health. So, thinking you about tama yung the way we design the the we, we actually were not apologizing to us just two weeks, three weeks to put this all together. So, medyo challenging yun. In fact, we only expected 100 people and puti na nagkasar yung pagka and more than 160 uh, actually showed up. Mostly young people. <laughs> you know. So, uh, ano mo na yung feed? Ano yung general? And then you have to appoint someone who will present what we're discussing today in, in a few minutes. So, I need a volunteer to be the presenter for the group. Preferably not from our not from the racks of the sun. Sige, sino ang gusto mag volunteer? Hindi mo magalang mag PowerPoint, isa summarize. Na summarize ang susulat lang yung mga points. Parang bullets. Points that run. Nagtatago na yung ibang ano. Pag wala mag volunteer, mag aapoy. Um, <laughs> parang training na rin dito. Will you be willing to speak on behalf of the group? Okay, thank you! <laughs> so, summarize mo lang. Di ba sabi natin, ang naghihiya lang yung hindi nagawa ko sa'yo? Oo, masama. Hindi ka lang pipilitin. Uh, Hindi yeah, ano kita. Uh, oh, I mean, call a friend. Call a friend. Yeah. At tabi mo ako. Gusto man niya. Call a friend. Or what? Would you be more comfortable about presenting for the group? I think kaya naman. Oo. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, sige, ikaw na mag-moderate natin. Asa ba si Nino? Dr. Bugtay. I'm going to start the ball for you, sir. But when he comes, he's going to edit transition. So again, what we were trying to say a while ago was just based on the landscape of healthcare and the technology, you know, the advances in technology, what are, what are your thoughts about it? Kasi di ba ang daming challenges na, na pinakita dun sa, yung sa plenary lecture ni Professor Bultay? So ano ano ito ating mga... Start with you. At ito ano po kasi, ang pinaka-interest ko po dun yung sa may wise bill, nakalimutan ko po yung buong link ng EDM, pero Na-intrigue po ako doon kasi box po siya ng may electronic device kung saan madedetect niya kung yung patient nag-take na ng medicine niya. And, uh, well, intriguing nga, may nakita ko isang parang loophole sa may pinaka-device. Uh, madedetect lang niya yung pagbukas ng box as taking the pill. And, tawag dito? And, ang pinaka-problem nun, what if hindi tinake ng patient yung pill pero binuksan yung box kasi at the designated time, mag-alarm yung box, mag-alarm uh, -alar niya yung patient na buksan yung box, and then that's that. Hindi alam nung doktor, nung nurse, kung nag-take pa talaga siya nung pill. And um, I think naman yung pinaka... Pwede mo ba ako may nagsuggest? Oh! That's the whole point of this session. I think... Paano may improve yung... Ano, this was, I think, invented by India. Uh, I think, um, ano ko po sana, while it might cost a bit more, mag-ano din po sana, um, may, misip ko ako ng parang paraan. Kasi, so you, you sort of saw a loophole in regards to monitoring adherence of patients. Kasi the act of taking the medication starts with opening the, the, the box or the pill box. But the act of taking it in is not recorded in the process. So yun, 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 yung, ngayon, yun yung challenge na when you want to innovate, how are you now going to bridge that final ano, mile? Yung sinasabi natin last mile. Na parang natin masisiguro na ako, sige, ginagawa kasi yung ganyang monitoring for adherence sa ibang bansa eh. Japanese, the, uh, the Japanese health system have, has that that uh, innovation already, you know? Uh, yung yung ano nga yung mino monitor kung araw-araw na bubukas ng pill box pero yun nga the challenge there is knowing well well enough that the patient actually took the pill and not just open the box as 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 the initial step or process of taking the pill so yun yung mga ano innovations natin no. ang kaya siya in invento i remember when this was uh, in its initial stage bago pa ng pandemic is hindi kailangan ng internet signal yung box <laughs> para mag-send na para may kumpit na yung may, may, may nagsisignal pero you're right in the sense na kung dishonest pa rin yung pasyente ito na nga, libre na nga yung gamot hindi kayo na nga yung gamot 
Kasi ang problema, sa'yo lang, sa ukol TV expert, yung mga pasyente, matigas ang puyo, kasi ang haba ng gamutan. Six months, dun sa regular. Tapos, pag mas complicated TV, one and a half years, injection pa noon. So, pero imagine na, ay, a pharmacist ko si Professor Richard. Minsan nga, tinitignan mo nga, nilulunok yung tablet, pag nung umalis na yung nagbabantay, nasa ilalim ng hindi na. niya, tinatapon niya sa, 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 sa bow, sa, sa sink. That, that's how human nature works. So, ang point niya is, even if the box says na you opened it, there's no guarantee na ininom yung gamot. Tama, tama yung point. Ano yung suggestion mo? Ay, hindi ako nag-isip ko na ako. That's why kung i-open up po sa growth, maybe may makaisip po silang solution sa naging... Pero katabi ng isang group, because this was actually even before I had them, yung VOT, iba yan eh. Iyan yung box, iba yung... Yung VOT, naka-timestamp. Sige, chan ka na. Parang nirepeat, kahit delayed, no? Kahit hindi, same time na alas ito na, okay. Pero naka-timestamp, may hindi ka ka pa sa 7 in the morning. And so, yung BC na nurse o midwife sa rural health unit, kahit mamaya na niya, pag natapos na yung trabaho niya ng mga pagdating ng hapon, si-check na lang niya kung yung pasyente naka-spine stamp na ito. So, yun yung advancement ng video DOT, which again, we piloted here in the sun. Pero, ours were human and the social media, yung sabi ko, kumamit ng messenger sa mga viper, was superior to the two technologies, 90%. Yung, yung adherence na digital, 80%. Mataas din, no? Pero, pero isipan mo kung paano isosol. Sige, hindi na yan. Hindi na yan. Kahit crazy po, okay lang po. Okay lang, okay We're here to be crazy, remember? What if po yung pill na ay, what if yung pill po na ititake nila, naging emit po ng signal na once ma-dissolve po sa stomach acid ng katawan, pag nag-stop, malalaman po na nag-ano na. Para na rin yan yung nanoparticle. Nanoparticle. Nanotechnology, sir. Okay, no, 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 no idea is actually impossible. In fact, they are actually developing a microscopic Nanobots. Nanobots. Oh, any other feedback? Did you like not the food? <laughs> the forum itself. Kasi nung dinevelop namin ito, hindi namin alam na ganito kadami kayo sa young ones. No? Although I'm smart by doctor. But uh, I think uh, much of our talk didn't really need a doctor. Ewan pa kung hindi niya tama. Much of, I mean, langwahe was actually something you can read in internet. I can share you with the people getting together for the ozone at saka yung pandemic na nag-develop ng bago yung diagnostics at saka vaccines. Alam nyo ng mga tao, I can just put it all together. Ang revolutionary doon ang beings kasi natakot lahat ng tao ng mga kamatay. Pero did that, ano, nagustuhan nyo ba yun? I mean, did it, kasi the message was active for the unit, eh, di ba? Na, you have to be your own change. You shouldn't look at obstacles along the way because research is really a series of failed experiments that finally have the breakthrough. Yun man lang ang message namin sa inyo. Na, we tried hundreds of times before something worked. Ganun din sa mga discoveries. You try thousands of times. Sa lahat, it's a big number of work. Okay. Oh, any feedback? Thanks, the other one. May teachers pa dito? Sabi ko nga sir, yung ano, yung group ito eh. Um, Wala mo. Okay, Pero maputi ang group sa kanila, ako lang yata sa kanila maputi ang group dito. <laughs> Kayo, ano yung ano, reaction mo? Nakatulong ba? Was it worth your time traveling here? To here? Ano yung group? Various topics and studies, which made us aware of the happenings currently. So, yeah, I think it really helped me as a new adult. Thank you. Ah, isang maganda sir na ano, na point din sa sinabi ko ngayon. Kasi simula tayo, lahat kayo may requirements ng thesis ng research paper. 
Pero yung continuity nun at then, hindi na kukompleto. Kaya sir, para ano kayo, okay, napasa na po namin, program ba dapat yung maging mentality nyo? You know, what if maganda yung naging result? No? Hanap kayo ng mga katulad sa inyo para mag-fondo. Kasi remember, sabi na kanina, di ba? The mother of uh, invention. It has been like that, di ba? Walaw ng renaissance, walaw ng mga, uh, ano pa, no? Uh, caveman. Kaya kung kailangan nila, gagawa sila ng paraan. Pero sa inyo ngayon, uh, lahat, with a click of a finger, or a, uh, ano tawag na, swipe, or wipe up, left and right, nakatulong ba yung research approach na ginagawa nyo ngayon? Or yung pinakita ng mga ano, facilitator or speaker? Kasi nga po, kaya po na adding sa research, I may use the word adding. <laughs> It's because I got, parang yung unang research na impresa ko. <laughs> So, many, but na hawa ka at na kagawa ka ng maganda project, alam na natin. Parang, I mean, it opens the doors. I was able to travel, to present the paper. Talagang gusto ng grants. Tapos, sikat ka kasi yung pangalan mo, in shiny name and life. Searchable, sir, ang pangalan ninyo. And you live forever. Yan, dito na ni-lecture sa inyo. In order to live forever, you publish. Ngayon, meron ng online eh, kasi dahil nga sa pandemic, kailangan malabas ka agad at mag-share sa buong mundo. So may mga pre-print, may pinatawag sila. Hindi pa na peer review tapos pag medyo na ano na peer review. Pero millions of people can share the information without a cost to do. Kasi kailangan na knowledge is valuable na. Pero does it inspire you? O na is it discouraged you? Kasi kami mga veterano na kami ng Thai, ng Tene, ng U. Dinahan na namin yan. I've been doing this for three, three and a half decades. So, ikaw pa rin. Do you, ano ba? Kasi we have to give you a reality check. Hindi naman puro pa nag-ingin. Pero di ba sir, sometimes innovation really starts when you acknowledge a problem in the system or in the world. And sometimes that small problem leads to just a small innovation. Tapos, Nag-aano na yan eh, nagtutuloy-tuloy na yan eh. So, siguro baka ang hindrance lang sa inyo is masyadong malaking projects na nakita ninyo, no? Ma ma malaki yung scope. Pero yung innovation kasi does not mean that it has to be that big immediately. Sometimes yung innovation mo, just tinkering with a process that has a problem, that by itself is an innovation. So, ganun din sa, sa, sa health, sa medical field, ano? Uh, look into the processes of how we do things. And then, right now, there is enough uh, 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 technology, uh, boom, boom in technology that supports doing things that we could not have done 20 years ago. So, yan. Yeah. Artificial is, intelligence is there. Hindi mo yung mga Harvard, hindi mo makabot yung mga oh. Oxford. Pero ngayon, equal na kayo eh. Kasi mag-email lang lang kayo. Para may gusto kayo information. Basta alam nyo lang yung email, yan at yan. And most of the scientists will answer you. Hindi ka nila hindi. No, hindi ko sige yun. Because uh, you couldn't go to them. They didn't recognize that. Sir, as nakita ko sir sa ano, sa kanila, mga student field, being also a professor sa college of Thomas, may ano silang challenge sa ano, sa pulpy filter. Kasi pag sinabi yeah. ni Google, Dr. Google, na pakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpakpak
Anong technique mo sa pre-research? Mapa Google engine, library engine. Paano mo magiging ano yun? Pare, um, you want to learn it, it's safe to have a COVID vaccine. Ano yun? Mostly po, we just mentioned data po, you provide data po. And for all, narrow searches. Tinuturo pa sa inyo yan? Ah, yes po. Tinuturo pa sa inyo yan? How to search? Then, really, medyo hindi accessible sa lab search. Mahal. Eh, so mga schools niya, where you thought how to search? Ay, si search, search. Baka may alam. Dr. Secure in HSI, yung students are required to complete the information with us. Including na po din yung search. Ah, so it's part of a package to train? Ah, integrated po siya sa research subject. Methodology. So in HSI here, there is a subject, a particular on proper search. Focuses on that. Okay. Meron ba sa inyo? Hindi, sasuggest ko kayo ng Tony. Kay Tony yan. Wala. Meron kayo ganap. Wala. Kasi kanyan, the danger with social media, when it was not even invented sa amin, is we found out na if you type in the wrong information, ang lalabas lang yung pinaka-popular and the most popular is at the top of the search. It's not necessarily correct one or it's the most populist one. Yan yung problem with the chat bot, with the chat... Uh, Pinagpupulot niya, sir. Kasi ang pinupulot niya, may reliable na mga database siya. Why is a health? PubMed, may mga health na... Pero outdated minsan yung data, kasi hindi ina-update. So, pari, tag-type ka, earthquake, turkey, walang lalabas sa chat. Kasi hindi pa updated yung information sa internet. Hindi pa nila na nag-curate tawag doon. So, that's one way forward. Kailangan, pare-pare tayo ng pinag-uusapan, maruno kayong mag-search. And this applies to anything in health, to anything you want to buy in Lazada and in Shopee. Kasi titignan nyo yung reviews, di ba? May mga grade, nilolo ko rin yun. Kaya titignan nyo yung grading system. And then, it's your judgment ko kung naniniwala ka dun sa sinabi kasi hindi mati na plan sila. So, yung formation, ang parang point ko is garbage in, garbage out. Ang failure ng aming generation nung lumabas na yung social media became the great equalizer. It also became a, uh, a, a harbinger of fake news. And there's a huge, ano na puro fake news. Yung mga nag-reject ng pakuna, isang malaking movement din sa buong mundo. Do their own data. Sir, yung ano, uh, yung ano ko lang dagdag ko dun sa isa kami na ano. Kung halimbawa wala kayong Mendeley, katulad din sinasabi ni Sir Kalinga na meron ng Lasal kasi medyo pinasubscribe yan, no? medyo ano yan talaga, siya additional ano, features pag nag-aaral ka sa Lasal. No? Uh, just type in that .edu no? or dagdagan mo siya ng PDF. Diba kung naghahanap ka ng all about COVID, normally ang ilalabas ng CDC natin ang PDF. So pag nilagay mo halimbawa COVID-19 vaccine, nagyan mo PDF or guideline video. Lalo ba sa'yo yan agad yun? Documents na. So yun isa sa mga tinuturo ko sa mga ano, uh, student ko na, o oh, nga sir, no? lumabas agad yung guideline. Ano? Di ba, nag-aaral kami about hypertension. So, GNC. So type nyo agad, GNCA dot PDF or PDF lang. Guideline. Lalo ba sa agad, o? Oh, libre. So, yun ang hindi, hindi nyo na nalalaman, di ba? So pag ganun ba, alam ganun kayo na, Uh, sampung uh, halamang gamot ng Pilipinas. Uh, merong labing isa, may labing dalawa, may lalabas din sir, depende din sa gumawa. Pero ano yung accredited tali or accepted? Ng DOH. DOH. So yun yung ilalagay niya, hindi kailangan ng sampung, uh, sampung halamang gamot, DOH, PDF. Meron naman mga na database, ito ang magiging parang health. Uh, para, there's a Google Scholar, yung collection yun ng mga uh, reliable uh, publications. Again, may limitations siya kasi hindi siya updated. Pero parang kahit wala kang subscription sa library, yung Google Scholar is a collection of reliable information. So kung gusto niyo ng information on the topic, huwag kayo pumunta sa chat, chat GPT nung kayo sa Google Scholar na pumunta. Kasi na, na, ano na yun? Uh, do you think uh, something like this is useful in the future? ganitong format na may may nagsasalita, may exhibit, then susunod kayo na yun. Yung, mga, yung parang, kasi may robotics na ginawa sila, 
and you're invited. Sige, ano? Uh, gusto, actually, maganda po yung uh, event. Kasi as, as you mentioned kanina, maganda siya when to connect nga po na mentioned yung kanina regarding excellence in Thailand. Kasi nakiwa-iwalay yung uh, mga activities. Pero uh, ang question ko nga is, when is the right time ba to expose our students sa mga gano'ng development? Considering na yung shared and department of innovation din natin. So yung similar to what Rob mentioned earlier, hindi rin updated yung tool. <laughs> hindi included yung mga robotics or in innovation in the curriculum. And yung mga schools po kasi is, yun lang yung may initiative. Sila lang yung nakapagtubos ng program. Still, limited po yung pwedeng gawin. Kasi as long as wala siya sa guidance with the end or the end. Hindi siya sa gawin. Hindi siya pwedeng gawin. Hindi siya pwedeng gawin. Pwede kasing violation siya yung kung sa mga second course nila. Violation ba? Pwede kasing nandun. Kasi may limited number of hours na sila. Dapat ganito yung mas time most specific subject. In particular, yes. Hindi ka naman pwedeng mag-add ng additional tasks sa students kasi na magiging additional cost din siya sa school at the same time. Pag sa private school. Kaya school sa pamilya. Kaya additional cost din siya. So my question is, hindi ba pagka rin yung forum sa akin maganda, mag-reach din yung Department of Education, yung Commission on Higher Education, at saka yung other agencies na cover. Para sa, sa as early as elementary siguro, na-expose na yung student. Okay, that actually is a recommendation. Ano yung nagsagawin sa'yo na lang? I-involve ang DepEd. Mahaga pa yes. yung chat sa... Pero di ba sir, when, when we have um, higher learning institutions po, and they, they achieve a certain level of accreditation, sometimes yung autonomy is also vested in that institution. So, halimbawa, level 4 na siya. May konting autonomy to innovate in, in terms of uh, curriculum yeah. eh. May curriculum yeah. innovation. Yeah. 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 So, siguro yun yun eh. If, if you have um, higher learning education uh, institutions, that are able to achieve that, that high level of accreditation, then the autonomy that is vested upon them will, will give the institution enough uh, autonomy to innovate curriculum. Uh, actually, the QHSI is an autonomous institution. Kailangan mo mention kasi sa higher learning, the problem is, sino yung students na papasok sa higher learning? Ano yung foundation nila? With regards to, ano, bawa, kung mag-explement ka ng robotics, you can implement it in the higher learning kasi ang inuturo mo basic. Pero from the basic education, wala silang exposure. So dapat naging start po talaga siya dun sa grassroots. Ibabalik ko sa'yo, they were the major sponsors of the robotics uh, sports tournament with the research component. Paano yung ina-attract yung 30 schools na mga junior, junior, alam mo na, mga grade 12, 11, and the dining of public, 30 schools, including one in Cebu, with 100 teams or more, di ba? Paano, I was surprised sa Ted Lanz. Paano nangyari? Okay. Initiative din siya ng school at the same time, yung partner na sumulat sa DepEd. So, nagbigay lang din naman sila ng parang uh, recommendations, pero hindi po sila hindi siya partner. Actually, sa, dito sa Kabite, hindi po siya na-endorse. Yes. <laughs> Kaya, that's why pinilit namin na yung representative nila iba din pagbigay ng uh, well, remarks, just to para makita. Makita niya yung event. Yes. So, ang ang, 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 ang take kasi doon is, di ba, right now, meron na tayong innovation sa basic education natin. Nag-K-12 na tayo. Tapos, yung last two years, may track ka na eh. So, siguro, ang, ang sagot doon sa tanong mo would be, focus on the STEM track. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Yun yung parang ano, special niche group mo kung saan mo i-apply yung yung klase na curricular innovations. Pero 11 and 12 na yan eh. Yan, tayo eh. Uh, pero yun, pero ang, ang mahirap sagutin sir kasi is yung trickling it down earlier than the 11 and 12 grades eh. So, kailangan pa, yung natutunan yung AI, robotics, or was it really something late development? Why can you use it? Ngayon lang. Then, we need to get some media. So, pelikula. Patuloy namin. Then, sir, yung bureaucratic process kasi talaga ng gobyerno once na hindi na pagpatuloy. I can remember, ako po, sa inyo rin, ang time namin, public elementary po ako, may investigatory project eh. Science yun, grade 6 ka. Pero po, kung hanggang na yun meron eh. So, grade 6 yun, that was 1990, sir. Ay, grade 6 ako, na meron ka ng 89 to 90. Investigatory prata. Kaya lang, Limited yun sa section 1, sa module section. Exactly. Sa mga science section. Pagdating dun sa 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hindi sinasabi ni Sir, bakit lang ang i-marry rin yung 
ayaw lang nilang i-take yung step forward para uh, gawin yung innovating na lumalabas sa yung gusto nilang gawin. Uh, example, uh, hindi yung paggawa ng alam ko pinipili yung nag-invento ng mga ilaw na makabal o parang present. Uh, gawa lang yun sa kung doon ka kami forms, scraps or something. So, uh, yun, kinong-collect siya ng idea niya na parang gawin yan, paano gawin ito. So, uh, parang doon nagsipin na kahit uh, sa paningin natin sa ngayon, na parang ayaw nyo ba yun? Hindi. Pero, uh, nagawa niya pa rin ng paraan para talagang nilabas niya yung yung gusto niyang ipakita sa mga uh, innovate na gusto niyo. Well, so, sa so, sinasabi mo yung mga mas ang may determination na nag-ilog na ipakita o hindi yung mag-ilog. Ako, I will do a little sharing kung huwag nilang ipwento sa iba. Pati-hati lang, sir. When I was in elementary, I was a I was a actually section F na A to F yung A mag-ilog yung F yung F ako mag-ilog. But I was a late bloomer. I mean, but but in high school, I took on the late performance. Part. And um, I do not have a clear answer to the point that are is uh, innovation only for the few, or it can be anyone. Um, um, life experience ko is hindi porket kasi ito yung mindset ng mga tao. Na dahil napanganak kang mahirap. E forever ka nang mahirap at hindi ka aasenso uh, in terms of even just innovation. I do not agree. Kasi kami, hindi kami mayamang family. I was lower, uh, upper, uh, lower, lower, middle class. I walked to school para makatipin. But it never made it a uh, balakit. Because I wanted to prove to others na dahil maliit ako, maliit pa rin ako. Pero I was the smallest. <laughs> Uh, my my peers in grade two said that you have no future because you're, you're small. You're ika. Sir, yung pa yung height is my na sinasabi niya. Ano ang panahon natin? But I mic. was driven. Kasi I wanted to prove them wrong. So yung mga nagbuti sa akin, nasa na sila. Uyo pa nasa na ako. Hindi. Ako, we're being shared with me. Pero sir, ako I-memeri ko lang yung dalawang, ano, yung dalawang opposing. opposing. I, I think that the, the, the issue here is it is not only for the few, but it is only for those people who have a voice to invade. Meaning, pag ikaw ay rank and file, kahit gusto mong mag-innovate, wala ka dun sa opportunity na mag, mag ano ka. Pwede ka siguro during your your, your meetings, mag, mag, ano kayo, mag espouse ka ng idea, magsasabi ka ng ideas. But if you are in the middle management levels, Pag nag, pag sinabi mong mag-innovate ka or you have this creative idea that you want to inject into the process, it, it makes it more uh, workable because may, ano eh, may backing ka nung, nung position mo eh. So probably it's not really about uh, only for the few, but only for the few meaning na doon sa situation o sa position that you occupy. Baka yun yung ano doon eh. Kasi di ba ang hirap mag-innovate. I mean, ako, I, I'm a maverick. Ano? I will also share. I'm a maverick. I'm an anti-institution. Hindi ako usually sumasabay sa, sa common na pag-iisip ng mga tao. But do I keep my voice hush-hush uh, when it comes to crazy ideas? No. I bounce it off people like I bounce it off my, uh, my uh, uh, agent superior. Parang ganun. So, sometimes... The innovation that you'd like to introduce, even if you are in the rank and file, if it sticks to the person who has the authority to, you know, act on it, then, sa akin, personal satisfaction ko na yun na, 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 na i-push ko yung ganong klase ng agenda in terms of, of uh, innovation. So, baka nga, it's not really just for the view, but only for, for, the, for the fact that there are certain people who can push for innovation. Uh, ako, let me... Uh... I was not as bright as some of now, my God. Pero nasipag ako. I studied twice as hard. Tulugan ako ng roommate ko sa medicine. Mas mataas pa ang grade niya. Pero nasipag ako. And I was hungry for knowledge. So pag summer, nung time ko ng internet, basa ako, binasa ko yung entire encyclopedia back and forth. I kept reading books whenever I had an opportunity. 
So parang I I I I learned to read a lot. And at that time, put my paper back. You know? So hindi never parang naging balakid ang opportunity. In our small group of uh, discussions kanina with the secretary, tinanong ni Dr. Wang from UT, uh, you have passion. And he was pointing to the speakers, uh, even Dr. Tonya. But how do you inspire spontaneity? How do you inspire, baka uh, kayo lang yan, paano nyo i-produce yung next generation na kayo? Ang, hindi ko nasagot yun nung kanina, pero you inspire people. And if you inspire people, baka may mga next generation na gusto nyo sumunod. So if you inspire them with their story, guys, sa amin, there's an even more inspiring story by the late Dr. Arinego here. He was dirt poor in Ilocos, but he wanted to be something better than in his impoverished family. He searched and, and, and uh, became a janitor in Sima, uh, a, a parang missionary who saw his potential, sponsored him in pre-med and then in medicine, and he became the most successful doctor in this province, leaving uh, a lot of wealth. Uh, but his story inspired others, and so kami, naging sponsor kami ng mga very poor, mga talented people. Pero ako, I do not believe that just because ikaw ay walang pera at ikaw ay nasa poor family, parang genetics ay ganyan ka na, there are shining gems uh, that we see all the time. Kailangan lang natin matiskupre. Everyone has a skill. Sa Facebook comment, nakita kong sugat ko, wala na. Ito. Kasi hindi ko, hindi ako marunong mag-change ng doorknob. <laughs> So kahit anong pasyente pumasok sa akin, kahit hindi siya nag-aaral, mas marami pa siyang alam doon sa skill niya kasi sa akin. So yun ang unang acceptance nyo. Hindi lang naman kayo ang magaling. I came from UP na ako, nasal. Ang, ang problema sa UP, sila lang ang magaling. But there's so much knowledge outside. And so much lost opportunity. Sir, tatagal po rin lang. Sometimes, sir, ano eh, yung, 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 question, yung answer doon sa question na yun na, how do you perpetuate continuity of you know, people with vision, people with passion? Sometimes it's not even about attracting people, with like-minded people. It's also paving the way for people. So for example, yung mga ginagawa, alimbawa yung doctor, he makes it more easy for people to follow him. And, and you know, yung, yung, yung mga stumbling blocks na, 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 na experience ni, ni Dr. Yu, Yes, Natatanda niya yun, na, na, napapalish niya yun. So, that pagpasok ng mga bagong, ano, yung, yung mga bagong uh, young minds, wala sila nung stumbling blocks na yun that would, you know, make it difficult for you to achieve your goal. So, yun yung, yun yung I think yun yung, ano, eh, yun, we, we sort of are paving the way for the next generation. So, it, you, you have to make it easy for the next generation. There is a formula from one of the leading institutions in the world. I mean, pinakamadaming Nobel Prize winners. Caltech, it's a technical, uh, technical institution. Ang kanilang formula ay kasi, get the best minds and then give them a good, give them a good environment. Leave them be. Yun yung aming formula dito. Maraming sa mga team ko, hindi umalis for the last 20 years. Kasi inalagahan namin sila. So we reward them, not with money, but to, uh, complimenting them and giving them like this, a home na comfortable sila. So, in, in order to in, encourage innovation, you have to make the environment as friendly as possible. Para hindi ka nag-iisip na kung ano, ang isipin mo lang, ang pito ko lang ang Pilipinas, na dapat may opportunity, safe space, na wala kang ginawa, kundi mag-isip na anong magandang bagong idea. Think tank lang, sir. Nakafocus ka lang. Kung lang. Masyado tayo nasa basic, hindi tayo nag-iisip na what if, anong, anong, Ang mga bagong mga inventions, hindi inibento ng mga... Usually, it's an off idea from someone. Someone. And then, na-adapt. Na-adapt siya. Parang sabi, oh, ano, bakit hindi siya? Kasi sometimes, the best scientists do not have common sense. Mas nakikita niyo yung, bakit nga gano'n? Bakit hindi, hindi... Parang yun, yung observation niya na, eh, May box eh, may tututut, may ano. Pero baka may daya pa rin. Ito eh, pero kitisip pa rin nila yan. May solusyon pa na. 
As I from the stomach and manobot. <laughs> so, um, sagutin ko po yung tanong kanina na about po sa is innovation for everyone. Ang sagot ko po ay yes po, it's for everyone po. Kasi uh, innovation can come from anywhere. If someone can change something into something new, it is innovation. It doesn't have to be new, right? Uh, if, I, so, if I can make something more efficient, if I can make something easier, it is innovation in a way. Uh, may two points po ako i-represent and then two historical figures po na nag, uh, nag-prove po nung point ko. And sa ano po, una pong point ko eh, uh, innovation doesn't always have to be something new. It, it can come from something we change. Uh, like, it, it, there's a, let's say there's a system and it's inefficient and we change it into something more efficient. It is not adding something new but it's it is changing into something new, di ba? And ang isa pong historical figure ay present po kanina si Henry Ford, yung pag-invent niya po sa may kotse. Horse and uh, So, for uh, hundreds of years, for centuries, magamit po tayo ng kabayo. And so, oh wait, before po that, uh, again, I'm gonna have to reiterate the point that to change, we often need to break down something, right? Uh, break down the system. So Henry Ford, in break down yung system ng paggamit ng kabayo, sinira niya yung notion, yung pinaka-tradition ng kabayo para mag-present ng bago niyang system na, ng kotse. And from breaking something old and uh, changing something inefficient, we can innovate to make it easier for everyone. And then again po sa story niyo po kanina, ay based din po yung historical figure na nag-prove po ng point na hindi na lahat ng tao kaya din mag innovate. Ito po si Alexander Hamilton. Siya po yung isa sa founding fathers of America. And uh, si Alexander Hamilton po pinanganak po sa Cuba bilang uh, ma- mahirap na po sila ng pamilya niya. Yung nanay niya namatay, wala siyang tatay, yung tinirahan niyang pinsan nagpakamatay. And nung lumipat siya sa Amerika, ginawa niya lahat ng makakaya niya para ma-achieve yung gusto niya mako. May ano siya, uh, may gusto siya marat, may gusto siya i-prove sa sarili niya. And so, hindi siya sumuko. And ngayon yung after yung American Revolution, um, isa siya sa may naging founding father, yung revolutionized niya essentially yung economic system ng Amerika na ginagamit na yun sa buong mundo. And one thing he wrote, um, the Federalist, Federalist Papers, because uh, with 86 essays, uh, that was written in six months. Uh, over sa lahat ng sinulat niya, nagsulat siya ng 56 essays in six months. And yung Federalist paper na sinulat is some work of art, uh, philosophical art. And, is a, and nag-innovate niya, binago niya talaga yung pinaka-system, economic system na ginagamit ng Amerika ngayon. Kahit hindi siya mayaman, hindi siya... Uh, ala siyang pera. Nagsimula siya from, from the ground up. He built himself a mansion. From the ashes, he built himself a mansion. Ayun po, ayun po. I have two stories to tell. The most successful computer virus was invented by a few you know. Computer science, uh, called them from AMA. Na, na eventually it absorbed. Uh, Ibis na parusahan, eh, hinahin ng finest na mga computer companies in the United States. And he was just doing a student project and created the most successful love bug, right? That destroyed so much. So it's an example here, yeah, technology can actually also not be good. Second one is, there was a worldwide attempt to computerize all the records of the doctors. So if we susunod kami sa chart, if we susunod kami sa isang card pag nasa nagkoconsult sa, sa clinic, i-gawin. And logically, pa, oy, okay yan. That will make it more efficient para mas maraming time para makipag- uh, usap sa pasyente. That did not happen. Ang nangyari, in the early days of this technology, hindi na natutulog yung mga doktor kasi wala silang kinagawa kung di mag-encode dun sa mga computer at laptop at ano pong ano pang device nila para to keep up kasi sila rin ang nag input until nag-develop ng medical secretarial and ngayon with the voice over na protocol na medyo mas maganda. But that's an example na it made life harder so not everything new automatically needs better uh, in, in the case of, I guess, the e-records. And it's still not 
Hindi na perfect. So any more about is it for all? Kasi laking ano yan, laking bagay yan sa future. Kung yung mga elite classes lang ang gagawin mong innovators at the rest of the classes, wala. Uh, uh, to go before anything else, I'm an entrepreneurship graduate. So I've read so many case studies and I have some experiences as well when it comes to business. So uh, on my stand, I would agree with sir that innovation is not for everyone, but the mantra here is that hindi siya, yung, uh, hindi siya yung quote that would discourage everyone to try innovation. But I just want to uplift that thought that innovation is not for the it's not for everyone. It's not on a discouraging it's not for the tone that hindi siya pang discouraging. But it's it's for a reality check. Since um, innovation is not for everyone, but it's for anyone, for those who are willing. Because there are patterns from what I've read in the case studies, okay? Especially yung mga nababasa on case studies. is more on the micro, small, and medium enter enterprises. So, the patterns that I've observed in those case studies that I've read during my college days is that their willingness to, you know, to prove that their idea is innovative and, you know, it could break the notions na na observe po nila. So, I just want to keep it short but simple that we don't want to use this quote as a discouragement but for a reality check for everyone. And we want to see those... And gusto natin gamitin yung quote na yun. Kung sino yung kaya mag ng reality na yun. And at the same time, sino ang willing na mag-take up doon sa challenge na so, yun. Very well said. Kasi remember, although ang baka nag-stick sa inyo kay Professor Kenneth is uh, innovation is not for everyone. Meron siyang susog doon. How will you know if you do not try? Yeah. Diba? May ano yung importante yung, yung ano yun. How will you know that it's not for you if you never try? And an experience namin is once most get involved in a true research, they never get out. Na, na ano na sila, king na sila. Uh, at nakita nila yung value. No? Yun yung sabi namin sa mga tao namin dito sa HSA. Research is for everyone because we use it every day. Hindi lang yung alam. Yung pag-search, yung pag-gagawa ng decision na more evidence-based. You do this in, as simple as buying your latest home or buying a latest uh, Shopee or Lazada. No? So, let me say, innovation may not be for everyone, but who knows if that's not you? Yun ang aking suso. If you will never try, why are you saying that para sa iba yun? Eh, you can try it. And remember, yung paulit-ulit na mantra ni Dr. Bogdai, Pagkatapos ng ilang iterations, ilang hundred tries, a dozen of tries, doon na siya nagsaksin. Ilang beses siya nireject before his IBET idea became now a reality. So you have to have the, ano ba yung function? Compunction. Na malakas ang loob mo, makapalang palat mo, na mag-face ng rejection. Ang aking favorite motto, it's not the number of times you fall down. That counts. But it's the number of times you stand up again or rise and say, I will try again. Yun ang dapat alin nyo. Hindi yung number of times we learn more from our mistakes than from our successes. So yun yung take home sa inyo. Ang mga researcher, hindi yan yung nakikita yung fancy work or we see. Ilang beses yung pumalpak. In fact, minsan, ang buong buhay, ganun din yung aking description kay Bogtay. Ang buhay ko ay hindi diretsong linya. Yeah. Puro baluktot para umabot sa dulo. So you have your own race to finish. Yung so hindi uh, dapat kayo ma-discourage. In fact, yung mga baksak namin, yun yung nagpatak sa amin. Kasi hindi kami nag-ipa. Sir, ano yun sir? Ano yung uh, attitude will determine your altitude in life? No, it's not about your aptitude. Of course, it will help, yeah. but it's your aptitude. It's not no? just intelligence. It's, it's, lang, lang yun. it's your determination. Saka yung attitude natin, sir, pag kayo example, ano ba sir, example niya, altitude mo? Attitude and altitude din natin. Sabi ko, isipin nyo, sino yung lumaki sa isang street na maraming kapitbahay? Nung una, sari-sari start thinking, sir. Isa palang tindahan nyo sa street na yun. Nung nakita nyo na si Alin Nede, eh, 
Mabay na. Oo, oh, maganda ang benta sa ice skating, sa yellow. Sumunod oh, na. Sumunod na. Hindi sa nagbukas dun sa kabilang dulo. Pero hindi lumaki yung ano nila, market nila. Kasi yung street lang yun. So ngayon, yung nasa gitna, nakita nila, oh, ano, mukhang kumikita siya. Nagbukas din sa gitna. <laughs> Nagbukas din sa kara. Hanggang ngayon, kinakanabilize nila yung isa't isa. Actually, the, 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 the visionaries who set up this building, I was just asking for an extra room. Then why room? Wow, building. Wow. And but but sir, why not be magpuno? Walang tao, walang tinga. Sir, build it. Ay wala pa naman yung yung field of dreams. Build it and they will come. And boy, you have come. Uh, Kulang na tayo sir na kwarto. Yes. <laughs> so yun yun yung ano idea. Kailangan mayroong vision. At uh, uh, yung kanta tapos sa dulo inulit na naman din yung doctor. Diba? How many people want change? God. Diba? How many want to change? Wala. How many want to lead the change? No, wala. Tao. Ganun yun. Yun yung, yun yung mantra. Ganun lang, sir. Kung sa'yo magbago, at it is the formula to move forward, tama na yung criticism na kung anong masama. Masama sa gobyerno, masama sa society, masama sa pamilya, masama sa maligit nyo. Baguhin mo. At yung pagbabagong yun, you should start with yourself. You have it first. You have it Okay, what else do you want to see in the next forum? Itong ganito? Okay, ito. Paramihin. Kayo ang mag-present. <laughs> yung schools ang mag-ano. Kasi minsan, ang nag-drive, tama yung point ni Mark. Pag may contest, pag may, may incentive, uh, may premium, Uh, we will give 10,000 pesos to the school that will have the most innovative project in the next four years. Sir, sometimes hindi nga yung monetary consideration. Hindi nga Bragging rights. Bragging rights. I believe that a healthy competition can actually make this better. So, pwede nga may sabihan si Antonia. O lahat na nang sama sa alayansa. O, patente kayo dito. Libre pupunta dito, pero Dr. Mr. Yap. <laughs> And then, uh, mag pero mag-represent kayo, may contest tayo. Will that work? <laughs> Kahit ano, innovation, kasabago. May nakikita kayo sa paligid nyo na kailangan mo pa. Kaya nga, necessity is the mother of invention. Ang kami yung uli ni, ni Dr. Ko, yung sibol ng lupi. Gumawa ng parang robot na nagsaserve lang ni mga kasi para hindi naman kailangan ng isang doktor ang magkagawa ng service eh. Uh, hindi kayo ng mga supplies. Kahit mapaglinis kayo ng to, may robot. Siyempre, mas maganda pa rin yung ano, bunot. <laughs> ano, ano ba? Kami yung nagsasalitan. I want to hear from the young ones. Ah, uh, sino pang school ang dinagsasalita dyan? Ayan, sige. Ayan. Sige po, sige. Tapos na yung Q&A. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Sa related lang po dun sa topic po dun sa medicine box, may question lang po ako about din dun po sa sabi na uh, human nature na rin po ng tao na minsan yung gamot po na kinate is iluluan yung po nila. And Hindi naman lahat. Oo, oh, okay. human nature, sabi niyo nga. And doon po doon sa may medical box, uh, hinahanapan po natin siya ng solution kasi may mga drawbacks pa po siya. And my question po is, bakit pa po kailangan natin, bakit pa po kailangan gamutin yung mga taong ayaw naman po kong pagamot? Pani, I'm so good thing, sir. Yeah, then I can actually write you an entire article. Uh, the human right to refuse medication is bumped up for Trump by the public good if you're not drinking the medicine will infect the whole your body. So yung karapatan mo, kung anong gusto mo sa katawan mo, talo yan sa karapatan ng mas nakakaraming tao na to good health. So para ikaw, ayaw mo kumino. Drug resistant TV ka na. Meron kang limang kapatid, may baby ka pang kapatid, at may magulang kang matatanda na. Pag hindi ka uminom at nag-stay ka sa bahay, makahawak at mamatay si Lolo at baka yung baby. So yung karapatan mong ayaw mong magpagamot is superseded by the public good which 
uh, governments and societies can impose. Yan yung away na sa bakuna. Ay, okay. Basta yun ako. Eh, kaso, kailangan ng 70% mabakunahan para magpatak yung 30% na hindi na bakunahan. So, yun yung argument dun sa issue na yun na pro uh, private right to your own body versus the public good which will be affected because of that that right. So, sa'yo. Uh, yung hindi umiinom. Actually, alam mo anong solusyon para mag-tolerate nila yung labing limang gamot? Ang ginawa ng mga partners pagkaibigan at nakipagkwentuhan. So, pag nasala na sila sa marites at chismis, nakalimutan na nila ni Lulu. So, naging mas tolerable. And yun yung solusyon sa size effect ng damot na nagutuwan sila. Na dinivert yung attention nila by making friends with the patient. And those cured patients became the next treatment partners of the next generation of patients. So, minsan ang solusyon napakasimple. No, hindi kailangan ng high-tech. Minsan na, ang solution, common sense. Diba? Okay, are we... Ano? Time check, sir? Ah, uh, it's just a look. It's 2.30? Yeah, yeah. Siguro may duration. We can come up upstairs and you can just summarize what we talked about. <laughs> So we'll just listen lang to our two group members who will be presenting. Sa group muna ni Noel. So, Tama? John? John, would you like to share the outputs of the group uh, downstairs? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm going to say my name. I'm Rixel Bernabe uh, from from St. Anthony College of Technology, Grade 12, STEM. And uh, this is going to be a bit short. Uh, I don't know how short, though. But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to, um, what do you say this? Uh, summarize the entire forum that we had earlier. Um, at first, they asked us a question, an opening question. But I opened up with a topic in my head, that, uh, a question that I've had. Uh, for a while about the um, the wise pill and uh, there was a short discussion about it after which uh, they continued with a few more questions uh, questions to the entire forum where he, where some uh, students had to answer and uh, after which the last question was that was asked was about the quote where um, wait the, about in, innovation, where, where if innovation is for everyone, and everyone had a quite lengthy discussion about the, the quote, since uh, some people were disagreeing, and some were agreeing with the said quote. And uh, it was a healthy discussion and a healthy argument overall, and it was very enjoyable, uh, to say the least. Uh, that was all. Thank you. Very, very polite sharing, ano, but there was really a heated discussion. <laughs> they were curious, ano ba yung heated discussion na naomit? <laughs> uh, is innovation, kasi ang, ang quote ni Dr. Kenneth was, is uh, innovation is for a few? Oh, am I, am I correct, very sir? controversial pala yung so sinabi th ni Kenneth. There was a counter-argument within the, within the group that innovation should actually be for everyone. But in fact, the resolution of that counter argument was yung innovation is actually uh, a challenge or a place where one can aspire to go to and then if if uh, innovators uh, become better at uh, espousing ideas or pushing for agendas the higher you go in the chain of administration so yun po yung mga discussions and then there there was sir yeah yeah exactly so th there was also one, one other issue that the, the, the next forum, hopefully we will also have uh, representatives from the Department of Education as well as the Commission on Higher Education to be able to um, show to, to the government functions, uh, functionaries the need to somehow look into the curriculum and make changes that would be um, highlighting the fact that innovations or innovators can also be given that that uh, uh, push no, in terms of curricular changes. Okay. 
So yun po yung ano, basic namin na ano, output. But if there are other comments from the group, meron baka meron pang gusto mag-add. Hmm? Ah yes, Charlie. Actually, we asked the question na uh, moving forward in the next forum, do you think we can improve on what we did? Uh, and uh, I think a lot of them had a positive feedback about what happened. I, I, my personal feedback is shy pa rin yung mga batang magsalita no, in, in, the, in, in the discussions, in the forum. But uh, we challenged them na in the next forum, maybe they themselves can bring in their projects and be more. Part of the training is actually uh, expressing yourself, which I think a lot of skills were lost during the pandemic, uh, yung communication skills, and even the art of presenting. So I'd like to thank our presenter on that uh, point. Na I think it was a healthy discussion between the young and the, uh, well, what did you say? Not experienced. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now I'd like to go to our group under Dr. Kenneth Hartigan Go. Yourself, huh? uh, hello, I'm uh, Raymart Sangalang. I'm a PhD candidate in chemistry from De La Salle University, also uh, the resource associate uh, of RMA Nutraceuticals Incorporated. So uh, we've had a uh, break room session about innovation in health. So the primary question that was raised uh, during the, the session is that uh, Regarding the artificial intelligence and robotics, if uh, how we will how we will ensure that the AI or the robotics uh, uh, will be uh, sorry uh, how we will ensure that the people will not be left out uh, uh, given the advancement advancement of the AI technology. So a lot of uh, comments, suggestions, and. Uh, um, uh, ideas uh, came up to us. So, the first thing is that uh, they pointed out that the community immersion and activities uh, in grassroots uh, uh, should be brought. Uh, the AI, uh, the AI technology should be brought to the to the grassroots or to the marginalized section. So, uh, the point there is that there should be an uh, the problem is anchored in social inclusiveness. Uh, so the possible actions would be like uh, they, they, we thought about TESDA, the opportunity of TESDA, but again, it was also questioned, uh, what is the problem with TESDA? So uh, the first thing that we thought is the opportunities with education. Uh, TESDA is offering uh, and supports, uh, sorry, uh, TES. TESA grad, graduates uh, do not match the economic requirements or the employment. And uh, TESDA uh, do not have a strong partnership in private industries. And the requirements are too much for the people in marginalized section. Then the last point is the nutrition issue that can affect the development of a child. Then from that, another problem arises, which is the nutrition. So we've tackled the second topic of nutrition so uh, sorry so how we will how we will solve the the problem of uh, malnutrition in children that might affect people that will apply to testa so uh, first is we, we need to we need to know uh, uh, what do we know about a uh, nutritional program that is applied in the Philippines? So, so the Sangkap Pinoy program of the DOH uh, came up. Uh, we've concluded we're not that satisfied. So, uh, so uh, Dr. Go challenged us to think uh, outside the box and uh, to push ourselves uh, to think uh, what should be the uh, different approaches to, to solve malnutrition which is an issue in health. So uh, uh, we've talked about creating superfood and something like that, but the final uh, output or solution is about uh, data visualization, wherein we apply the graphical information system. So uh, the solution is like we will create uh, a, Google, a Google, it's like a Google map of data, wherein uh, uh, we've selected date, certain data points of, uh, of 
manufacturers doing sangka Pinoy sales products. And the data will be uh, collated and uh, will be localized to a certain server or maybe something like that. Then with that data, we will form literacy. Literacy of the manufacturers that uh, are creating uh, products with Sangkap Pinoy. Then uh, after that, uh, so uh, Dr. Go uh, introduced us the concept of geohazard mapping uh, with that kind of point. So, uh, so uh, the application of that is that uh, when we apply it to malnutrition parameters, uh, we can identify certain sections in Google Map with a very low malnutrition rate, with very high malnutrition rate. So with that, we can uh, include uh, different stakeholders like the government, hospitals, to be able to address those sectors with low malnutrition rate. And, oops, sorry. And uh, so that's the, that's the beauty of data science. And uh, last words is like, uh, the, the takeaways is like, Innovation is not, is not only about producing product. So innovation is also about creating process, thinking outside the box, and it's actually a way of thinking. It's not only about creating something, but it is also uh, giving us uh, a certain way to think, not the usual way. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions, comments, even from our group or for those outside? None? Yes, Ken. Uh, Lexi, I think you mentioned the need for interagency communication. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, Dr. Lexi reminded our group that it was necessary for interagency to communicate better. That alignment is important for people to know who's doing what and also to push innovation forward. Okay, th that's, that's I thought I should add on that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. May naalala ko dun sa group namin where Marlon, our head of our CIETI, was saying we were introducing already even the training of the proper searching, search term when you go to the internet. And I think I'd like to share that with the general group. Now that is one thing that the collaborators of this forum can uh, work on. Now, it's not uniform and it's not harmonized. If you're going to look for the proper information, you have to type in the right specific term to capture and correctly get the information which is properly curated. So I think that's something that is basic to all, maybe even as early as elementary days. Paano kayo pag naghahanap kayo ng information since everyone has access to the internet these days? Paano maghanap ng information in the proper way na hindi nila nakikita sa mga false sites or naka, ano, naka uh, TikTok. Having said that, I have a TikTok that you might want to join <laughs> at Charles U. Uh, 161. Uh, but it's not about dancing, it's about cooking, it's about how to live longer. So... I exactly have 500 fans. <laughs> but anyway, I was trying to test if you can actually use TikTok to educate people, uh, aside from just the dance. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, to that, we'd like to, I think it's, uh, no, we'd like to call it a day already. At maraming salamat for your attendance. You're still all here, which is really good. I mean, Charles. I, Dr. So Charles, to formally close it, sir, yeah. any last words before we oh, have the oh, closing picture comments. taking? And then we'll have, stay in your seats, we're going to have your photo. Yeah, photos. so stay in your place, we'll have the picture with the photographer at the stage. Uh, I would like to thank very much my hardworking research, not team, family. Yeah, They were here the whole day of Sunday. We had barely two weeks to prepare for this event, but if you will all agree, Look what two weeks can do with the assembly of all the people. It was a good idea that spread and parang we were surprised people wanted to get involved. And everyone we invited actually showed up in the exhibits. So my challenge in the future is we should make it even better in the next iteration of this event. 
So marami pong salamat. Many of you have traveled since 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, there were delegates here at 6 and 6.30. Uh, many have traveled far. I know you you spent our, our busy time to come here. I hope it was worth your while. We learned a lot too aside from us trying to share some of our experiences. Marami pong salamat. Spread the word. And maybe this can even be a bigger event next year. Salamat po. My name is Rixel Bernabe and I'm from St. Anthony College of Technology, Senior High School, Grade 12 STEM. And my key takeaway from this uh, entire forum was the innovation, uh, essentially the one quote that was said earlier about um, innovation being only for the few. And uh, after that quote was said, I had a lot of thoughts about what was said and until now I'm still thinking about whether or not that quote was true or not and my friends and I have been arguing uh, not really in an arguing sense that is fighting but a healthy argument if you will and essentially uh, this entire forum has been an amazing experience for me and I've loved every single moment of it especially the food as well and uh, I really reco uh, not that I recommend that uh, I really enjoyed it. That's that. It, that's what all I could say. Hello, po. I'm Jokish Chamarikanlas. I'm from Senior High School Department. And ano po? Um, from my experience, po, uh, I think um, namit naman po yung expectations ko nung una. Uh, I've learned a lot, po, and it gives me a motivation, po, in my chosen profession, po. Uh, Michelangelo uh, T. Manuel um, from Saint Anthony College of Technology. Uh, my takeaway is innovation is. Uh, not just for a few, but uh, it is for the ones that, uh, that they like. It's for the ones that they want, uh, they, they want to just do it, just consider it, and just have the voice. And you, you uh, everything will not matter if you don't try it at all. Thank you. Hello, po. I am Rizal Ringarin from Letran Kalamba, and. One of my key takeaways from today's forum was how important innovation was in different aspects of our life, especially in health, how it improved the lives of people and how it assisted, facilitated the lives of the Philippine people, like how it improved our health, Yung mga operations na dati wala, ngayon meron na tayo gawa ng innovation. This is all because of innovation. That's all po. Thank you. I'm Clark Benedict Silaza po from Colegio de San Juan de Letran Calamba. And my key takeaway from this forum po is that innovation doesn't... Um, innovation starts with our thoughts. And it ends po when... Uh, when we execute it properly po. and I feel like innovation should be um, worldwide and it should be accessible to everyone that is my key takeaway po. and that innovation is something crazy it's something that starts off as crazy but then ends off with oh it makes sense yeah.